Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'm reading Romans 1 of the King James Version Bible. It reads, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the holy scriptures concerning his son Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God with power according to the Spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith along all, among all nations for his name, among whom are ye also the called of Jesus Christ. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without season I make mention of you always in my prayers, making requests, if by any means no at length i might have a prosperous journey by the will of god to come unto you for i long to see you that i may impart unto you some spiritual gift to the end ye may be established that is that i may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith both of you and me no i would not have you ignorant brethren that oftentimes i proposed to come unto you, but was let either to, that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So, as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to every one that believeth, to the Jews first, and also to the Greeks. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, The just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against the ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who held the truth in unrighteousness because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath shewed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse, because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible men, man, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed for ever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burned in their lust one toward another men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet and even as they did not like to retain god in their knowledge god gave them over to their reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, 
boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, impla implacable, implacable, unmerciful, who, knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that them that do them um all right guys so in this chapter we see that paul was actually longing to meet with his fellow brethren and he's saying that he keeps them in his prayers and not only his fellow brethren but also souls to save and minister to he wants he longs to do this he is passionate about this he's passionate about the things of god and you see it here in the scripture that he's indeed passionate about the things of god also we see where he speaks of the fact that because the people have gone against the will of god and exalted themselves above god that god allowed them left them to their own demise and through leaving them to their own demise we see they inherit the fruits of the flesh we see them succumb to all the desires of the flesh and for those of you who think that homosexuality is not a sin here you have it in this very scripture in romans 1 it's highlighted that men finding pleasure in men and if you women Think that because the bible speaks about men against men so often and not women with women here you have it it says that the women are using their bodies for things that it was not naturally made for and that is to you lesbians okay i'm not lashing out at you but i'm telling you what you're doing is not within the will of god and for those who are encouraging gays within the church community, that is that means that you're not following the Bible. That means that you're going against the scriptures. You're going against God's will for us. You're going against God himself. And yes, I appreciate them as human beings. I appreciate them as friends. But I am not going to say to them, what you're doing is good. And I'm not going to support what they're doing but i can see the human being in them i believe it's a spirit that is playing in them and i try to find and appreciate the person and disregard the spirit but that does not mean that i'm going to disregard the spirit in that i'm going to welcome them into my church so i'm not welcoming demons into the church all right because the demons are playing in them the demons reside with them and bringing them in and saying oh you know it's okay to be gay and if you marry a man it's okay that's not right that's not of god i'm sorry that's just not of god right so guys i'm gonna leave that right there but please remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye